how to perform the uh, model analysis for the 3D building. So on a screen, you are seeing one 3D building. Uh, so on which, uh, what are the different uh, elements, slab, the beams, exterior beam, interior, uh, already the loads have been assigned. So just I will show which are the loads have been already assigned. So in that we can see in the load pattern. So these are the different loads already. Uh, it is, it, it, first of all, it, it has been uh, defined and it is assigned also. Okay. So then, okay. Now to begin with uh, this model analysis. Uh, so first of all, it is required to define the mass source. Okay, it is required to define the mass source so that we can define using this command. So it is define mass source, defined mass source. Okay, so here add new load case. Okay, add new load case. So it is mass source. Okay, now to calculate the masses. Okay, so in SAP 2000, there are two options. One is it automatically calculate the mass from the element self weight, element self weight. That is the option number one. And second is that, uh, that is first option is it calculate the mass from element self weight and whatever the additional masses applied on the uh, on the element. Okay, that is the first option. And second option is that it will calculate the mass from the specified load patterns. So in the load pattern, we have made a list of the different loads assigned. So from that, so also it, it, it is possible to calculate the, the, this thing, uh, the mass required for the analysis. Now, in this case, we'll go for the second option. Why it is required to go for second option that I'll, I will explain later on. Okay, so now go for second. So choose this option, okay. and First option, you just deselect it. Okay, so then first. Now here, one table is there. Okay, so in this, so first is dead load is required. First of all, by default to calculate the mass, it is required multiplier one. Second, live, live load on a floor. Now, as per IS 1893, there is a multiplier. Okay, there is a live load multiplier. And if the intensity of the loading is three or less than this, then the multiplier is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is the multiplier. Okay, so you just add this. Okay, live load, it is a one. You just add this. Then next, again, live load on a roof. Again, it is a live load category. Therefore, multiplier is 0 0.25 just add it okay next is a brick external okay so how much multiplier there is no reduction to the brick external wall okay so it is one so just add this then brick internal multiplier one then next is brick parapet multiplier one next is roof finish floor finish multiplier one add it then next is a roof treatment multiplier is equals to one. Okay, so here by selecting the second option, okay, by selecting the second option, now it is possible to apply the multipliers as defined in the IS 1893. So, so this is not possible by selecting the first option. Therefore, uh, we have to go for the second option. Now, this is in this way, uh, we have to define the, the mass source. then say okay okay now the model is ready to perform the model analysis okay now here the option to run analysis okay just yes, click here click here so okay. so these many cases are uh, generated automatically uh, for the analysis okay so but we are interested only in the model analysis Okay, so therefore select first of all, all case. Okay, uh, so make it when we click here. Okay, so in the action, uh, this thing, action column, all the cases are do not run. Okay, it comes as a do not run. And where the model analysis? Okay, this model analysis is there. Okay, so you just for only for this, say as a run, because we require the result of only to model analysis case. So only this in the action, 
in front of the model, it must be, it should be a run. And then a run now. Okay, now the analysis is going on. Yes. Now, now we'll see the deform shape first of all. Okay, so we'll make, so in this, this is 3D view is there. So in that, okay, we'll see deform shape. So here we will see all the analysis result from this command. It is display, it is deform shape, deform shape under modal. Okay, and this is the mode number one. This is the mode number one. Okay, so it is apply and okay, apply and okay. Okay, now we'll start the vibration. We'll start the animation. Okay, now this is vibrating. This is the first mode. Okay, right, this is the first mode. What he called this mode? It is a translation mode. Okay, it is translation mode. In the which direction? It is in the X direction. Okay, now we'll go for the next mode. Now here, the toggle button, you just click here and then start animation. Okay, now it is in the Y direction. It is in the Y direction. So first information from the model analysis is that uh, the first mode and second mode, these are the fundamental modes. These are the fundamental modes and both modes are the translation mode. These are not the torsion mode. As per IS 1893, the fundamental mode in each direction must be a translational. It should not be torsion mode. Okay. And second one. And again, second information is that the first, second information is that first mode is in the X direction. Okay. It means that compared to Y direction, X direction is more flexible. It more flexible and therefore it is in the it is in the x direction. Okay, this is the second information. Third information from this uh, model analysis by seeing the uh, this animation is that since the first mode, fundamental modes in x direction and y direction are translational, so it means that mass and stiffness distribution is uniform. It is a uniform. This is the third information. Again, further um, uh, other properties of the different modes, so we can say in the table format here. So go here, display, show table, display, show table. Okay. And here structure output. So all these here, you will get all the, the results, analytic analysis result in the table format. Okay. Now we will see only the last one that is structure output. Okay. It is a structure output. So you just click on a structure output. Okay, and we don't want a, uh, this thing. Uh, the only select a modal information. Modal information. Here, here, select a case as a model. Okay, and then say okay. Okay. Now these are the results in the tabular forms of the model analysis. So this is a result of a first. This is result of a uh, model load participation ratio. Okay, second. Then just click here and second is a modal participation mass ratio. It is a participation mass ratio. Now, and then we can extract this table into Excel. So here is the file, then export current table to Excel. So when you, uh, when you click on this command, this sheet comes on the uh, uh, import on the Excel, Excel format. Okay. Now what this table is. Okay, now what this table is, table is very important. Okay, now this is a mode numbers. This is mode numbers, one, two, three, four. Okay, now these are the time period of each mode. Okay, so first mode, okay, what is time period? 0 0.53. Second mode is in the Y direction. What is the time period? 0 0.49. Third mode, okay, so this is time period is equal to four. So this table gives, this column gives a information of the time period of each mode. Okay, then now this column, this column, and this column, this gives a mass participation in X direction, Y direction, and in Z direction respectively. Okay, then in the Z direction, if you see all the mass participation values are equal to zero, are equal to zero. That is 
up to 12 number these are 12 number of modes up to 12 number of modes the building has not been excited in the vertical direction so mass is not excited in the vertical direction so therefore it is coming to be zero okay now this is about as in the animation we have seen uh, the building first mode is in the x direction so therefore how much is the mass participation it is a 0 0.80 0 0.80 okay so that is 80% uh, 80.91 that is 81% mass is excited in the x direction is excited shall we call this as a first mode dominated structure no because as per is 1893 if the mass participation in respective direction is more than 90% then it is called as a first mode dominated structure this is not first mode dominated structure but more than 80% mass has been transmit uh, this thing uh, excited in x direction okay then second mode so this is second mode is in the y direction is in the y direction so therefore it comes it has come in the ui column so how much per participation again near to it is 81 percent 81 percent okay now third mode okay third mode neither in x direction nor in y direction there is a zero zero okay so that must it must be a torsion mode okay it must be torsion afterwards also will in the animation again we will see the third mode so third mode since mass participation in x column is also zero y column is also zero it must be it must be a torsion mode in the uh, table also we can see where now this is afterwards so what are these three columns these are just summation of the masses in x y z in respective modes that is uh, what is the for example here after so this is up to four fourth mode what is the summation of the mass 89.28 okay then up to this what is the total of this thing uh, summation of the mass in x direction 8 is there okay 91 is there okay then up to this up to 12th mode summation of the mass comes to be 90 so this is just to give the summation of the masses in respective directions ux uya uy and uz direction in uh, each mode then these rx ry rz this gives rotations rotations in x direction rotation in y direction and rotation in z direction okay now see in the first mode in the first mode rotation in x direction that is rotation of the mass with respect to x with respect to x axis no okay with respect to y slightly how much percent 7.92 percent mass is rotated in with respect to direction y with respect to axis y and therefore here mass participation why it is less than 90 percent because some mass very uh, fractional mass seven percent mass is rotated with respect to y, y direction okay but there is no rotation with respect to z direction okay then second so that is most important so it should not be rotated with respect to y direction uh, with respect to z direction that is essential thing in the second mode also rotation with uh, this thing with respect to x direction is there rotation with respect to y y axis is not there but with x axis okay rotation of 14.2 percent mass is rotated with respect to global axis x that is in the second mode and therefore since some mass is rotated in the translation axis x and therefore mass participation in y direction is not coming more than 90 percent okay so that is the reason and in the c important is this table shows that the third mode is the torsional mode okay so therefore what is the rotation with respect to x and with respect to y is not there okay sorry with respect to x and with respect to y is not but with respect to z see how much rotation how much mass participation 80.20 80.20 percent mass is rotating in third mode in along with respect to z axis global axis once so this is a torsion okay this is a torsion but it is in the third mode this is not in the fundamental mode first mode and second mode not in the fundamental so this is accepted okay this is accepted so therefore in this building there is a no significant torsion effect there is no significant torsion effect or mass and stiffness is distributed uniformly okay 
so this satisfied the criteria of the the this thing uh, regular building as per is 1893 okay now we'll see the animation of the third mode okay now this is a second mode now we'll go for the third mode now see so this is now rotation with respect to uh, z axis this is torsion actually so rotation must be there with respect to z axis not x and y axis okay so now in the result table also see 80 point some 80 percent mass is uh, mass is rotating with respect to z z axis okay so these are the informations we will get the model analysis and the results of the model analysis results of the model analysis required to perform the results of the model analysis are required to perform the uh, the dynamic analysis so in the dynamic analysis a linear that is response spectrum